Hello everyone, welcome to my channel and uh, today I am going to show you uh, that's a common problem of related to your deploying your application and in this video tutorial I am going to fix that type of problem that is HTTP error 500.30 I mean to say that 500.30 ESP.NET Core app filed. So, uh, fail to load ESP.NET Core runtime, common solution to this issue. The specified version of Microsoft.NET Core.app or Microsoft.ASP.NET Core.app was not to troubleshooting steps because your instruction uh, is a production department. So check the system event log for error message. Enable logging for the application process uh, start down message and uh, attach a debugger to the application. That types of message you have to got. When you publish your uh, or you can say deploy your uh, sites on your local uh, uh, hosting IIS then uh, you got that type of problem if you are not uh, actually download that package so just type in the Google that is a hosting bundle so if you are working on dotnet 6 then just download hosting bundle dotnet 6 and hosting bundle dotnet 3.1 and hosting bundle dot and five. Suppose uh, if you are application you if you want to deploy three point one, just download dot net core three point one hosting bundle. Download dot net core three point one, and there are the build of SDK. And here you can say that hosting bundle of Windows, and just download that package. Okay, so uh, just I want to download this package and install this, and your problem will be resolved easily by just installing that type of problem. Uh, just installing that uh, type of runtime and your problem will be resolved easily. So thank you guys for watching this video and keep watching all other videos which is related to ASP.NET Core and you also uh, see my previous video uh, to deploy your application. So this is the simple steps to deploy your application. So just check the description below and uh, follow the instruction and uh, you can easily deploy your application on IIS. Thank you very much for watching this video.